Hey, I'm making a video today, but I'm not making it in my single player world. I'm making it here on Forecraft, which is the SMP that my friends have invited me to play with them on. There's my to-do list that I was hiding. <laughs> anyway, yeah, spawn garden. That is our to-do list today because we have our spawn area. It's got some useful things, but it is not decorated. And I'm gonna fix that. Here we go. So I've got my palette here that I've worked out in my creative flatland. Uh, I wanna use dark oak. I wanna make some planters with stuff in it and things like beets and berry bushes and even amethysts. Uh, make for some really cute planters along with you know more traditional flowers, bamboo. We're gonna use some deep slate to create some rock formations maybe. Uh, we're going to use stone and andesite to kind of help terraform a waterfall I'm going to install. And there will be uh, custom dark oak trees. And possibly some acacia trees because I like that contrast. We get some acacia logs here. Having trees like those next to each other, I think would be very nice in uh, in this landscaping. So let's go mark out some paths and things and get started. Probably doesn't look like much to you yet, but trust the process. Uh, so what I've got marked out here is um, I'm going to install a waterfall right here. And the little river's gonna flow all the way down to the lake there. And then things marked like this are going to be bridges so that, you know, we can travel easily across the area. So this first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up there. I've, I think I've cleared the right space uh, and set up this barrier because what I wanna do is see how the water falls naturally and then uh, make adjustments from there. Okay, I'm at the top. I've carved a little bit of a channel so it doesn't just spread all over and I hope it should fall down just into that area I marked off. Um, and then we can adjust it from there. So let's see. Of course, of course I'm gonna dig uh, some of this out. Like, um, like if, uh, if a spring was here, I might, you know, if, if the pool, if the pool up here, the spring pool is going to be lower, I might end up carving a tunnel for it to go through and come out a little farther down. But, um, but this will work for testing purposes. So let's see what happens. So far so good. Spreads a little bit, that's okay. And all the way down. I don't see it spreading out of that area. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's go down and see what it looks like. Whee! Ah. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I want it to spread a little more in this direction also. So I'm going to have to do a little digging up there to make it cover the whole thing. But first, I have to take a nap. Alrighty. I think... Let's pull back a bit. No, oh, I don't want it so wide so far up. I'm, mm. Okay, more adjustments. Alright, that's looking a bit better. Um... I like, I like the curve that way. And now if around here, I can get it to expand that way. And I think, I think that's maybe what we want to do. Okay, back to work. 
So the reason I'm digging out all the dirt in the path of the waterfall is because if there was a waterfall, all the dirt would be washed away. Trust the process. Okay, that is the shape I want. Now, all I have to do is terraform it. <laughs> I'm gonna um, you know, replace some of the dirt here with stone, uh, especially right here where the dirt would get washed away, but I want that to be a stone so, uh, so the water can go around it. And I don't know, just, just try to make it look as natural as possible, you know, maybe put some moss some cobble and some mossy cobble and some andesite and some stone and just some moss on the side to show where the the drippies are and maybe some dripstone that that one's naturally occurring and so it might be nice to have a a few more showing where the the wall has broken down and don't worry about this entrance this this goes down to our villager breeder and um some other farms but you see these mark where this path will continue into there and obviously we're going to build uh, some sort of shelter to get under the waterfall with a uh, stone and some strong timbers but we can't build that until the waterfall is finished so anyway that's a lot of progress for today hope you enjoy uh, click like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.